Hello dear friends, today I will uh, show my game against uh, against the youngest uh, uh, grandmaster in uh, chess, Abhimanyu Mishra. So I was mainly expecting uh, e4, uh, we played d4, knight f6, uh, c4, e6, knight f3 and here uh, honestly I didn't uh, check today before the game uh, Catalan and I was uh, mainly expecting e4 and uh, uh, Nidorf. Uh, over the board uh, I didn't play d5, g3, entering to Catalan I played bishop b4. Knight bd2 and here black uh, does have uh, short castle a3, bishop e7, e4, d6 or d5. Uh, yes, uh, and I played a5. So short castle a3, now bishop d2 is also possible, white can take with the knight, with the queen, with the bishop. And here uh, d6 is the strongest because d5 is not uh, really good uh, with uh, blank, black having uh, castled uh, uh, short side, uh, bishop d3 and then h4 ideas uh, comes. Yes, I played a5, a3, bishop e7, e4, d5. Yes, e5, knight fd7, so bishop d3 was played by uh, Mishra Apimanyu. I played c5. Now if short castle, then d takes e4, knight takes e4, c takes d is hanging. So he played e5, knight fd7. And now this is the point. So Blake uh, uh, delayed uh, castling short side. So h4 ideas are not working. I remember some years ago, Ding Li Ren had a very beautiful, nice game against Amin Basem where Amin castled short side earlier and allowed h4 and then bishop goes to c2 or b1 and some mating ideas are coming. Uh, I didn't know this idea of going a5 and delaying uh, short castle. About maybe three weeks or four weeks ago I was playing um, German second league and I was playing with the white pieces against Zayogin who uh, played uh, this line with the black pieces against me and he was blitzing out uh, his moves and uh, later after the game I I checked it with the uh, engine so the line is possible to play short castle nice c6 rook e1 here in my uh, game against Zayogin he played uh, queen b6 which is uh, not the precise since c takes d takes d and bishop c4 works yes d5 square is very soft uh, black black's uh, pieces cannot really um, defend d5 pawn. So I knew that queen b6 isn't working, and I played uh, short castle, and Apimanyu instantly played bishop c2. Known idea: if uh, black let's say takes on d4, then c takes d, takes d, and knight b3 comes. Uh, yes, and I played queen b6. Yes, here uh, after the game, uh, Mishra uh, suggested knight b3, d takes c, knight takes c5, knight takes c5, d takes c, probably bishop c5 ideas aren't pos possible because of bishop h7, queen c5, and queen e2. No, but it, this does not uh, look very, very uh, dangerous for black, honestly speaking. So he took on d5. I took with the pawn back and uh, here the problem is uh, if black takes on d4 uh, with the pawn the knight b3 comes. Uh, so white does not have uh, good uh, waiting moves. For example if knight f1 then knight d4 would come of course. Uh, so d takes c, knight takes c4, here knight b3 was possible, uh, knight f1 was played, I went rook d8. Uh, and knight e3. Starting from here I liked uh, my position, I played d4, yes knight f5 was played, if knight c4 of course there is uh, queen a6 and then knight d6 uh, d3. So knight f5, 
Here I saw that I can take on f5, bishop f5, bishop f5, let's say g6. Uh, bishop f8 was also possible, but I didn't uh, like it very much. So I played d3, 97, 97, and here bishop e3, the strongest move. Otherwise, if you move the bishop, then uh, knight b3 can, can be very unpleasant. So bishop e3, the point is being detects c, queen c2, and uh, let's say rook d5, there is rook c1. And white just takes on c5 after bishop f5. Yes, bishop e3. Mm. When I pushed d3, I was already calculating all these uh, lines. Bishop f5 I played. Uh, yes, bishop b3, again the strongest. Uh, yes, if queen b3, then bishop c5, and here I played rook c8. After the game, uh, Mishra said that knight d2 uh, was the strongest. And uh, yes, I agree, knight d2 is the strongest move. So knight g5 isn't really working because b3 is hanging. If bishop a2, then queen b2. If bishop c4, then queen b2. Knight g5 ideas are not really dangerous because always knight d6 is there. So I played rook c1. Yes, already I don't have much choice. I took on b3, bishop takes c5, uh, queen takes d1, rook takes d1, knight d5. And I think here black is uh, being slightly better. Um, yes, and he played knight h4. Uh, because uh, if bishop d6, then knight f4 is possible. So knight h4 was played, and here I could play bishop e6, but rook d3 comes, and knight f4, let's say black is maybe slightly better but not much so i played uh, bishop e4 my idea was if f3 then knight f4 comes and then f takes e knight e2 knight c1 here he played rook c4 and again after the game uh, uh, mishra's uh, uh, father said that bishop g6 uh, uh, was winning for black and uh, it shows like around uh, minus minus three minus four yes you just go bishop g6 b6 is a threat and uh, again, I didn't see. I played f5. So my point was, uh, he took e takes f. Uh, f3 was another option. I was planning to play b5. If rook c1, then knight f4 again. f takes e, there is b takes e. Rook d4, rook c5, f takes, f takes. And here, if rook e4, there is rook c4, important move. That's why I think knight f5 is the strongest and position remains around equal, according to my calculations. Yes, he took on... Uh, f6 knight f6 rook d4 another good move uh, from the far i was uh, planning to play rook d5 but here just rook takes d5 knight d5 and f3 and uh, i'm going to lose my bishop or trade it with the h4 knight yes i took i played h5 the idea was whenever f3 then bishop h7 and g5 ideas might be there but knight f3 was played uh, by mishra I played knight d5, he played knight d1. I could take, let's say, bishop f3, g takes f, uh, knight d5. Rook d3 isn't working because of rook c1 and knight f4, but bishop e3 is enough. And white does not have any problems. So I played knight d5, knight e1. Here I could play knight f4, but just king f1 and white does not have any problems. So I played rook c4. Mm. He could play bishop e3, he went bishop e5. Yes, instead of going rook c4, I had this d2, but just takes. And here at least king f1 or rook e2 is also there. So I played uh, rook c4, bishop e5, again d2 takes and king f1 at least. Uh, bishop g6 I played. And here, let's say after h3, uh, black is in some uh, uh, danger. Yes, my opponent played king f1, I played bishop b8, knight d3, I played bishop b5, king g1, I played rook e4, yes, bishop d3 is threatening, f3, so if rook e3, then knight f4 comes, so that's why I played rook e2, he went knight f4 anyway, knight f4, bishop f4, I took on b2, rook d5, and we repeat it, uh, and here again we repeat it and game ended in a draw. So let's just check it briefly to see what happened.
yes yes he played uh, the strongest move bishop c2 yes position is uh, very much playable uh, yes bishop c2 and here i went queen b6 which is not the strongest actually the strongest is c takes d c takes d e takes d knight b3 queen b6 so i played queen b6 and here white had d takes d knight c5 knight b3 with some advantage so knight b3 was uh, oh yes actually what uh, mishra suggested very much possible so he took on d5 i took uh, back yes knight f1 uh, yes knight f1 is uh, my game against Zayogin. he takes the knight g3 and i guess g6 bishop b3 and uh, what's the idea ah just to take knight c4 and then bishop takes c4 wow and then d5 comes yes knight f1 my, uh, was my game against Zayogin. d takes c knight c5 and black is already better knight b3 knight b3 bishop b3 let's say bishop c5 yes uh, mishra pointed out uh, this bishop c5 uh, he went knight f1 i played rook d8 yes if knight g5 my idea was honestly to play knight e4 yes g6 is also possible when knight e4 is also there g6 is stronger so i played knight e3 i played d4 knight c4 knight f6 wow wow of course i saw bishop f8 bishop f5 d3 as well but not h6 i didn't even consider h6 wow it's insane so i played d3 97 97 bishop e3 was played i played bishop f5 the strongest bishop a4 i saw knight d5 was my idea oh, i played rook c8 he played rook c1 knight d2 anyway queen g6 uh, yes i took bishop takes c5 otherwise b2 is hanging takes takes knight d5 and position is very good for black knight h4 bishop e4 the strongest f3 knight f4 and here i did not see bishop g6 i did not see dear friends bishop g6 and uh, it's so painful yes i played f5 he takes f yes f3 loses to b5 rook d4 rook takes c5 f takes f takes knight f5 yes this is winning knight f5 g6 so takes takes and here rook d4 yes i played h5 no i took on d4 first I played h5 he played knight f3 back i played knight d5 knight d1 yes i played some rook c4 bishop e5 bishop g6 i played and here yes i'm having already some problems knight d3 bishop d3 f3 bishop e8 bishop b5 and uh, rook e2 the strongest move and game very soon ended in a draw yes this is already third uh, winning chance i'm uh, missing uh first one was in uh, in the game against uh, Darius where i had this bishop c6 if you uh watched previous uh uh videos yes the other uh, one was yesterday against Aryan Chopra it was and today bishop g6 Thank you very much and again it's very painful um, not to see bishop g6 because I was trying to make all these tactical ideas work and some of them I saw but not exactly this um, bishop g6. Thank you.